But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there, or see them. Me mo akwa ba ede ba pen dream TV. So make sure say any day they can watch and over subscribe to channel. No no click bell. No so say the news to our son. So be to me a can our team in time. Aye, now good morning Ghana. So no aye. Dr. Randy Abbey, Eddie Nsembi Betuja, na eye John Jinapo, Eni Sylvester Teta, o Kasama MPP. Edi hon komona, Dr. Rambi Chire Muse, eye Finance Minister, eye Furiata, ebe ka se, eye Yilevi no nanka, omu esha se so omu jianko, omu nko yi IMF mbiyo, ne mpo, omu aje jabe dru sa amre ya, omu akwa IMF, and so still, 2024 budget, budget, eh, Tax in Kwa in the womb, a DNT Nasa and Yam Ayo Koso. Our Fedia and this in Omdia Koso almost a money delay a year a year no implementation in Tia. I must see almost so you say Omobiano or Motimania. Now face almost so a munch and I still almost had the tax air kaya home. Now no Nasa and semi Okofa debate has seen the buyer and yet John Jenaponi Silver started ten yard work crab. Yes, I stated here that you should be defending so when to me, Emma John Jinapo is calling on that taxation and the overbedding of Ghanaians. Ah, yeah, taxation and the overbedding Ghanaians or Chrome has a seat. Now, I mean, I have a premium soccer video. No, I'm a person who is here. So, there's this viewpoint that if the E-Levy had been accepted from the onset and we didn't have the other agitation and a delay, this whole IMF thing would not have happened. And we, oh, that's have, not and we would not have gone through all of oh, this. That's not true, that's not because true. indeed, <laughs> that is what the finance minister told nah, us. Nah, nah, nah. That once we get the E levy, we will not go through. And I'm sure that you've heard, even on the floor of parliament and many other places, that it is the agitation by a group and a section of Ghanaians, including myself, um, about the E levy and the <laughs> fact that it delayed to pass, which then led us to go to the IMF. If we had agreed, on the E-Levy from the onset, we would not have gone to the IMF and we would not have been saddled with all these issues. Oh, if you, if you listen to the independent experts, the truth is that it's far from the case. And you say, go back to 2021. Don't look at 2022. 2021, we're told to pay COVID levy. We're paid to pay sanitation levy. We're made to pay, like I said, COVID recovery levy. Then they said, oh, the energy sector has some debt. We should pay energy sector recovery levy. Then they said, because of financial sector, we should pay financial sector levy. The Minister of Finance told us that when we paid all this, we won't go to IMF. We did that. We did that. So it's not like it's a new development. We paid all these taxes that I've enumerated. Then he came again and said, oh, E-Levy is the solution. If you pay E-Levy, it will solve the problem. Firstly, there's something you call a, a tax threshold. In taxation, when you tax beyond a certain threshold, you don't even get the revenues. And I recall that Haruna proposed that look. For the sake of compromise, why don't we even do 1%? So that we would observe it. The finance minister rejected it. And lo and behold, even after implementation of E-Levy, the revenues were not just coming. And I think that they did the wrong computation because they assume that if the money is moving through the value chain, you just be taxing it that way. It's normally not the case. You normally don't get that. So it failed. But I'm convinced beyond reasonable doubt that E-Levy wouldn't have resolved the challenge that we're facing. Because if you look at the enormity of the challenge, the currency was just not holding. And when your currency is not holding, no matter the domestic revenue you raise, you would only be chasing that few currency. And it's normally a structural issue. So clearly, the problem couldn't have been E-Levy. This, taking into account that they made a revenue target. Because it's a revenue basket you are looking for. If you look at the 2023 budget, and I have the provisional figures here. 2023 revised budget, 108 billion. 2023 projected 107 billion. So the revenue target has been met with or without ELV. So ELV couldn't have been the, the reason. The revenue targets were met. The problem is that look, we had borrowed through the roofs, it was unsustainable. 
And the truth is that, look, we should learn from this and stop blaming illness. Because I'm giving you the figures. Around the half appendix 2B, page 171. You wanted 108 billion. You ended up with 107 billion. And when you take the full details, it means that the shortfall was only 800 million. I mean, we can't go to uh, this level of bankruptcy because of less than 1 billion revenue difference. No, 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 no. The facts does not support that at all. The facts are here, and the facts speak for themselves. So if anybody comes to tell you that E-Levy was the cause of running to the IMF, I, I disagree. I disagree. Slide. Let, let, me, let me bring you in uh, external debt restructuring, deal with external creditors, max major turning point for economy. Well, according to the finance minister, as you heard, JJ says we don't know the details yet. But at least what we know is that there is a movement from the cutoff date of 2020 to the December 2022, which government proposed. The other details were yet to, to, to find out. And uh, we are told that this is also minus Eurobond. So Eurobond will be the third level. Yes, my Randy, I, I think it hasn't been a pleasant news for all of us, and when I say all of us, irrespective of where you stand, uh, you may attempt to uh, take advantage of the situation as it is. The reality is that you are Ghanaian, and this same economy you'll be seeking to manage if you are given the responsibility. Um, I think that the finance minister had made some revelations, and we are hoping that uh, the outcome or the details as we expect it will be in the best interest of our country, at least for now. What that seeks to do is to offer you opportunity to be able to put your house in order. That is why if you look at the JPEG, the programs put in place, the roadmap is to ensure that fiscal discipline, is to ensure your revenue mobilization, maximization of your revenue, and then to ensure that you streamline your, your, your expenditure so that you come out of this situation we find ourselves. If you look at amortization and interest payment, it's down because of this debt exchange we are doing. It doesn't mean it will be forever. So in a space where you have this lean way, uh, what are you doing with it? That is more critical and more important. So like you say, we all don't have the details, but there are some hints, uh, even from the uh, IMF, that Ghana will st st uh, soon clinch a deal to have the second tranche of it, which is very, very vital and important. The state of our economy today, what will $600 million do <laughs> for our economy to be able to give us a respite, to propel businesses, to be able to uh, generate more revenue? I've always said that the only group of people who pay and pay more uh, without complaint is when the businessman, when the businessman is doing well, obviously, any amount of tax the businessman is willing and able to pay. I mean, not that we are not willing, but ability to pay uh, our taxes uh, more often than not uh, the situations we find ourselves. Where I sit, I've reviewed uh, many countries' uh, proposals. Ghana is not the first country to have proposed the uh, levy. And like you said, the expectation of the levy is to enhance revenue mobilization. And of course, uh, for revenue target, the fact that you uh, set a revenue target and you exceed it does not mean all your problems are solved. These are pro projections. And when you have opportunity to make more, naturally it goes to help you and it goes to help the country as a whole. So for me, I don't think that the fact that uh, you had a projected uh, revenue outflow, uh, inflow, what it means is that all your problems will be solved. We hope that this is the base to which we want to manage our economy. In that same budget that projected these revenue expectations, had some uh, uh, difficulties that if you have had more money, would have solved them as it were. Nonetheless, I, I think that uh, we did not uh, uh, really, really uh, look at the, the, the yield of it carefully and do proper, 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 uh, how do I put this, um, expert, uh, opinion on the matter because you had many countries who had gone that uh, journey and they had to withdraw as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we all of us uh, were worried about the, the, the strength with which the uh, NDC were opposing the E-Levy. I think that, uh, like you said, at one point in time, 
the then minority leader had even proposed one percent to the extent that his own people are taking him on that even the one percent they will not pay for for that year levy we cannot say that even though if the revenue target were missed because of miscalculation or expectation their stance against it did not affect it they they cannot say that their stance against it i mean you've had leading members of the ndc who said by virtue of that uh, uh, year levy they will stop using uh, 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 transactions <laughs> that were affected they've said it mm. on this show mm. and i think that their position against it itself is not healthy and it hasn't helped anybody at all if a revenue is missed one person uh, uh, a person is missed by virtue of your actions then you you are not patriotic enough and i think that in a nutshell we all have to be blamed that for the fact that if i think that any revenue stream proposed is not 100 percent proof that you are going to get this it's an expectation what so, do you say to those who say that government is just fixated on revenue revenue it's not no, like it's, an it's expenditure not, it, no and that uh, it is the, 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 the people at, who say that if expenditure government learns to cut its expenditure but, but, it, but, will not, it will not it will not it will not because I, I find just, just a minute i find people who say that they even find it embarrassing mm. that a taxation to production um, um government will be heaping taxes upon taxes upon taxes upon taxes upon taxes on the people. Randy, but, but, I've, but, I've always right, maintained. I've, I've always figure, maintained. Yeah. I'm coming. Go for if you uh, look uh, at the interest payment JJ. itself, the domestic, in 2023, we budgeted 27. We project to end with 25. So the real saving is 2 billion. Mm. No, but, but from but, the domestic is the external. Yes, which so, is moving from 17. We'll be ending 9 billion. You know why? Because we, we've decided we won't pay. Mm. So if you strike the 17 billion, the 9 billion. Then it tells you that the 17 minus 9, the eight. difference, 8 billion, is what we've decided we wouldn't pay mm. in terms of debt servicing. So it's, 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 it's very difficult. No, but, but JJ, you one would agree with me. I mean, it's, 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 truthfully, like I said, it's not a good thing for anyone. Mm. And these are accumulations over time. I mean, we must all be mindful that this debt we are talking about are not debt accumulated overnight. There are some obligations that we inherited. Even John Mahama inherited some debt obligations mm -hmm. from. I mean, the project that the NDC lay claims to drawdown came under the, uh, it was things that started from MPP. The drawdown came under their regime. There are some we inherited debt that the drawdown came during President Akufuado's term and all that. So we must see this as collective. I like that conversation. What are we doing to curtail? or check our expenditure mm. it hasn't been free for all we all know where we're coming from where the combined effect of your of your uh, 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 revenue against your uh, expenditure when the expenditure was going up your revenue was coming down we knew how these things affect our revenue mobilization the downgrading and the inflows that we're getting all since obviously you were pushing a tight corner it's a, 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 a growing economy so clearly we should be looking at the expenditure side not only the revenue side we've all made the argument that until we expand the revenue tax to revenue has been extremely low that's why some of us were looking at avenues to increase our tax to revenue it's one of the things that all the agencies rating agencies look you can't be doing tax to revenue uh, uh, lower than your peers in the sub-region but, yeah. but I disagree with that thing. I'm coming, I'm coming. And I'll prove to you JJ, why JJ, it's not true. Mm -hmm. JJ, JJ. You I finish. Mean, finish and JJ, I'll tell please. you why it's not true. These, these, these are things that we have to... Uh, 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 even if you are doing the same as your peers and all that, I still think that you have opportunity to expand your tax net. Not necessarily looking at the same direction that your uh, 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 tax revenue is coming from. You must look at other revenue, uh, revenue streams to be able to mobilize revenue for your country not only mobilization but then you have to look at the expenditure control mm. expenditure mm. and then make investment that will bring or yield results mm. as it were so i think that as a country over time we've been uh, consistent in going to the uh, the euro market to, to show up our uh, capital that has mm. not exposed us so much but when those opportunities were blocked obviously your bank is exposed and i think that if you look at the document prepared to the IMF and then given us the first tranche and all that, there are timelines, there are conditions already attached to it. This 
uh, external debt exchange uh, details. I'm not privy to speak to it because of the terms, the cut-off point, the conditionalities, as he said, that are going to come. I mean, nobody will give you his money expecting returns on a particular date. The moment you shift the date, obviously it comes with a cost. That's where the negotiations are. And if you have been assured by the finance minister that uh, good times, it won't be uh, as bad as people are speculating. But for some naysayers, obviously, they wish that this country collapse to, to take over the helm of affairs. Unfortunately, yes, the I, finance I, I minister hope. doesn't appear to be <laughs> I hope, I hope, whose assurance. I hope, I hope that <laughs> can, can not, I hope that is not. No, but I mean, it's not coming from him alone. You read the response from the IMF. Uh, 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 boss, hmm. as that's, for them there. No, no, but uh, but they are the people you are dealing with, uh, and of course they are there. they are they are institutional creditors that are equally important, like he said. Uh, so, Sly, let me ask you this: So, if under the IMF program, mm. we have adopted this quarterly review of electricity uh, rates, Tariffs. and in the last one year or so, over one year, we have had all these increases. I think it was just the last quarter yeah, like it came down. that we had that 4% or something decrease. And I could tell why that happened. Now, oh, I can tell why that happened. We seriously believe that the application of VAT on domestic usage minus lifeline. And mind you, this same, your government has reviewed lifeline from 1 to 50 to 1 to 30. And I'm told that the 1 to 50 category the 31 to the 50 constitutes the majority. Such that if you reduce the lifeline, so maybe 1 to 50 could be 1.7 million consumers. But immediately you change it. The 31 to the 50 could even constitute about 60 or 65 percent. I mean, are you speaking to specifics or you are speaking to... Yeah, that's uh, the, no, the, no, to specifics. No, I, I just want to be sure. Yeah, to specifics. Yeah, specifics. Now that's, that's, in fact, that's the reason why lifeline was reduced from 50 just to, have the numbers. to 30 so that you can get a lot more people falling into the mm. into the bracket we sincerely your government sincerely believes or our government sincerely believes yeah, that. I love, no, I yes, our government. it's government. because it's an mpp government that's so, so you are not mpp no, government is not no, you your government, government. That's, why, government that's why they say ruling government yeah, so say our government. <laughs> our government, yes. yes the so government say, of yes, I love that. So say yes, our yes. government, yes. Our government of okay, yes. Which is uh, which is uh, which is <laughs> which is run by you. Um <laughs> Including your good self. No, which is run by, by the people, you, you, for the you, people you, by the people. <laughs> a part of it. I'm, I'm, Don't check your responsibility. Okay, okay. Body. Minus me. <laughs> oh, minus you. Uh, minus you are not bad. The reduction was 1.5, not 4. 1.5%. Okay, okay, yes. Thank you for your question. Mm. Now, you seriously believe that after all this quarterly thing, we can impose VAT on domestic consumption of electricity. And that people in all this difficulty will be able to deal with it. Randy, there hasn't been a time that any tax uh, proposer yes. has not met such explanations from you. It's always been like this. Yes. I mean, I remember the VAT, introduction of VAT, yes. to the extent that it led to people mm. going to the street and all that. Mm. There will never be any tax proposer that will not be met with the kind of explanation you are giving. There's always a harsh. But some are more severe. I mean, the, if the, electricity the severity, penetration, the severity, if electricity the penetration severity, is the over eighty percent, the severity you are talking about yes. is subjective. Really? Yes, it's subjective because as you sit here today, no tax that you propose mm -hmm. today where people will tell you oh, we are comfortable to pay this tax, um, but it doesn't mean that. Uh, people are comfortable or will ever be comfortable. But it depends on what is imposed on. Is yeah. It. So, so yeah, it depends on what is imposed. This I, one I, I remember, is direct, direct to. Uh, I, 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 I remember. You, you will start paying the electricity bill. Your all of us will pay. But no, I mean for your constituents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. but Randy, for me, I mean, seriously, it is not a, a joke. Yes. To me, even you. Yes. At our level, yes. the consumption rate. No, we no, are not the more you consume, yeah, the, the more you, you consume, yeah. the more you pay. So people are going to be mindful of the rate of consumption and all that. And I think that we should begin to explore alternative energy but sources. It comes with this downside. Mm -hmm. When you reduce consumption, mm -hmm. it comes with this downside. Of course, of course. I mean, these are hard decisions. So, so you have to be very careful. Yeah. Seriously speaking, I, I think that uh, we pride ourselves as one of the highest penetration uh, uh, rates in terms of uh, electricity. electricity. 
and largely you will find most of these people in cottage industries around the country. And if we are promoting that, uh, we have to be looking at the, 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 the component as we put on some commercial uh, 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 usage in order not to affect even small scale businesses around the countryside where they are located, the cost of doing business and all that. He has his own downside, like you said. There's no tax uh, uh, proposal that is so uh, welcome. Everybody will have it. But I think that where we find ourselves, Randy, we are looking at the numbers. You need to balance it. In balancing it, I think that we should explore more. On, on, but if it's a wholesale, a lot more people, uh, what constituted the, 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 the lifeline previously and what is constituting the current uh, uh, description of who falls under the lifeline. We have to look at that with respect to income levels, uh, location, and all that, and ability, trend, trend as to how people pay their bills and all that. But you see, it's becoming so convenient because we are, we are all going tech. So, you are, so people may pay that they may not even feel it as it were. That is where the problem is. Because if you have to uh, do this by way of uh, uh, electronic purchase, so people don't really feel it. But those who really look at the numbers over time, you realize that people will see it. Unlike before, <laughs> there have to be a manual calculation and all that. But I think that in a nutshell, it's not something too healthy. For even me, where I sit now, it is not too healthy. But we hope that we will have to work ourselves. I'm hoping that we will be increasing the threshold of lifeline. Mm -hmm. to even a higher level but if you are coming down that's more serious mm -hmm. i was hopeful that we could have maintained the lifeline uh, range good. at least to be able to help those people and even extend it to some cottage industries mm -hmm. around the country that is what to curtail the rural urban migration mm -hmm. and to be able to have a primary processing of our raw materials to be feeding mm -hmm. for secondary processing and all that. So these are things that we should be looking at holistically. Mm -hmm. In an attempt to get out of our current financial situation, we must not be taking decisions that will have a long-term repercussions mm -hmm. on our economy. And I think that, let's wait for the details uh, of, yeah. of, of what we are negotiating for. Okay. So, so, JJ, so, what are you able to tell us on, on this? Uh, yeah, the first quick one yes. is this issue of taxation. It's like mm -hmm. maybe you might also want to research on that. It mm -hmm. has to do with the classification. Okay. Yeah. What we classify as tax revenue Mm -hmm. And what we classify as non-tax revenue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, 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 I heard you argue on that. Yes, before. if you don't in Parliament, I, I showed it. If you mm -hmm. don't classify it well, you might say that your tax revenue compared to Cote d'Ivoire or Togo is low. Mm -hmm. But it's the burden on the consumer. Mm -hmm. If you load it in levies mm -hmm. at various departments and agencies mm -hmm. and use capping and realignment mm -hmm. to take that money back, mm -hmm. you might see a lower tax revenue. Mm -hmm. But the burden the ordinary Ghanaian is very, very, very high. high. Mm. And I think that is very, very important. That's mm. it. Two is the electricity thing. Not only has the lifeline been reduced, mm. they've also collapsed the bundles. So just hold on. Let's, let's take it bit by bit. And I hope that we can do this in five minutes. The lifeline, 1 to 50, we're told that that constitutes about 1.7 million. Yes. Now, the reduction to from 1 to 50 to 1 to 30, 30. which means that 30.1 mm -hmm. to 50 are yes. excluded. What yes. are the implications in terms of numbers? So the implications is that you are having a huge number of people falling into a bracket where they will pay high, simple, than before. People who hear that too, they are excluded. And they've done that even with income tax. Yes. Income tax now, mm -hmm. they've lowered the threshold. Mm -hmm. So more people have been brought into the higher income tax brackets. Mm -hmm. So, I think I took a screenshot. I'll, I'll just give you the figure. Mm. So, let's assume that if you earn 50,000, you pay 5%. Mm -hmm. When you reach 60,000, mm -hmm. you pay, say, 10%. Mm -hmm. So, when your next 60,000, which is like the next band, mm -hmm. you pay higher. They've lowered it mm -hmm. to, say, 40,000, mm -hmm. which means that once you earn 40,000, you'll be paying more mm -hmm. because it's graduated in yeah. that order. So that is the same with the electricity now. Mm -hmm. Not just that. What I have seen in terms of the tax computation is not just VAT. There's Get Fund, there's NHIR, and there's a fourth component that also occupies the ECOWAS levy also. On electricity. On electricity. And they are not just taking like we used to do. You know, during our time, 17.5% VAT. They've disaggregated. They've disaggregated. And they escalated like that. It's escalated. 
So they will take maybe you so there's a certain medicine. compound effect. There's a compounding effect, yes. a cascading one. Yes. So you see, they are loading their pain onto the Ghanaian. The last <laughs> time, the, the last pain. time I looked at the calculation minus the echo was, it was a little under twenty-two. That is it. So effectively, that's mm -hmm. what you call the effective tax rate. Mm -hmm. You will see nominal rates, but the effective tax rate, which is what really hits you, mm. is around 22%. So you should be expecting to pay 22% more of, of your consumption, of your consumption. As, tax, as, as tax, as VAT. As tax. And any time PRC increases the tariff, yeah, you pay 22% because of, of that. Rate yes. that. When your tariff increases and the VAT component and all this also, yes. So it's a serious matter. Look, people are going to have it very, very tough. And look at the rate of inflation. And you say that's also the thing to about the rate of inflation. Mm -hmm. If you calculate it year on year. Mm -hmm. And we've done this before. You have 100 CD, you increase 100 CD by another 100, it's 200. You increase by another 100, it's 50%. But in effect, it's increased by 100. So when you are seeing a certain low rate of inflation, be very careful. It doesn't mean, first of all, even prices are going down. But because it's over and above, then where a year where you have a very high inflation, such as 2022, 2023, it's only normal that the preceding year you would see the rate of inflation being. You mean the subsequent year? Yes, but then the subsequent year. Mm -hmm. But then the impact on you is very, very high, and then your rate of salary increment is also low. Mm -hmm. So look, people are going through terrible, difficult, difficult, difficult moments. It's tough for people. And, and I'm surprised the government can decide that they want to impose VAT. On residential consumers at this critical hour you've imposed all these taxes you've given us a haircut on our investment you've extended the maturity period you've asked workers to sacrifice in terms of their wages and all that no, then, but the wages were were were, were uh, uh, increased recently by what oh by what about 15 percent and at against what rate of inflation no but my please, salary is 10 please, please you've increased please. it by 15 percent the, the, the haircut the haircut are not are not for free these are payment we have it's been deferred but obviously they are payment that we have to pay no 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 the so the, 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 the interest component free. has been reduced so, so you don't know that don't, don't, i know but yeah, the interest component has been reduced. don't make so it look like you are losing out completely that that is a place oh, you I, are I losing that, that's a fact and I'm saying that when you increase my salary by 15%, and the rate at which prices are increasing is 25%, I'm worse off. Even if you are giving me the rate of inflation, then I'm at parity. I'm not worse off. I'm not better off. But when inflation is 20-something percent, and you increase my salary by 15%, I'm worse off. I have, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen when when you were in power you were increasing go and salaries. Check the figures. You were increasing salaries by rate of. You go and check the figures. Minimum wages are figures. now your ten. I have the figures. Check the figures. Let's so clearly, me. you are having a very 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 difficult situation. I hold the view that this is not the time to impose that on residential consumers. But I've always regarded residential when will consumption. Be the time? Not in this this very yeah. <laughs> no okay. When it, why is it that all that way we didn't impose it? From twenty thirteen. Yes. All that way we've never imposed residential consumers have never paid that. Mm -hmm. So why is it that we didn't say that oh this was the time, this mm -hmm. was the time? Why should it be now? Mm -hmm. There should be a, a, enough they should be justifying why we're on an IMF program. So it's the conditionality. Yes. And we've gone to the I said this we've gone to the IMF several years. So on the on this on, is on, the on only on IMF program on electricity. There are two fronts. One is the quarterly adjustment, mm -hmm. and two is the imposition of, of, the, VAT, of VAT on domestic consumption. domestic consumption and the lowering of, of the, the lifeline and the collapsing of, of the, the bands. Bands. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Please, Four. please, 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 Four. please, 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 uh, we are talking uh, of the hardship that is confronting please, the ordinary please. Ghanaian. No, you you are talking of conditionalities. No, we are saying that as for the collapse, taxes, collapse the, of, of so so like, so like for example, I, I, like for example, if I were if I were in, please if I were in band one, if I were in band one, mm -hmm. and in band one, this is how much I was paying. Uh, let's say is it kilowatt hour? How do yeah, you calculate yeah, it? Yeah, kilowatt, kilowatt hour. hour. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, so and now the band is collapsing in such a way mm -hmm. that I am now 
where I'm in band one, I now go to band two, mm -hmm. where I pay maybe 50% more mm -hmm. per kilowatt hour. Is that knock on you? No, no, but, but really, that not, And then the, two, the, the, I, was the, in, I was within 31 to 50, mm -hmm. or even 50 to 80. Mm -hmm. And now it's been changed. And now my 31 to 50 so, but, but, have been taken out of life. Let me, let me see Then this. the third one is that <laughs> there is now a quarterly adjustment. adjustment. Mm -hmm. but the, and the, then the, now the, the fourth the, one... There's also been trend analysis of mm -hmm. people who have been in a certain band for a very long time. Based on analysis. You've, you've mentioned that. We also need to and they credit them. Of, oh, please. Please. We, mean, also, we, we, also, we also need to credit them mm -hmm. of some analysis. I'm not sure it is out of the blues. That day. No, it's just it's just to get more people to pay more. No, but it's 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 it cannot it's it's be the only consideration. It cannot be the only No, but what else is for the vast? Oh, please. No, what you tell us? I mean, we are learning. We are all learning. What else could have happened? This is a country over time. People might have been on a certain band over time. You realize that look, the economic situation around the time. We 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 increase this uh uh, how do we call it? Threshold of uh, life uh, line before we've increased it. Before. No, you've never. No, we did. Oh, I we mean did. that sector. No, never. we did. We did. It you was. Mean, it was not like this from. It's only the been fifty during my time. Yes, so it was fifty doing. during your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you look at and where you the people. Tickets. Yes, so I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that there might be other consideration other than. So you tell us. Value. No, I'm saying that, look, the fact that I don't have it, I'm not sure people look at your face and say, all of you want to tax you, so go. There might be other considerations. And that's what we should be speaking to. Mm. So I'll, I'll find out further and better particular. Right. It cannot yeah. only be the consideration <laughs> for taxation. Then yes. On this depressing <laughs> note, let's end it here. Oh, 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 are you let's depressed? Say, I am. Okay. Yeah. I oh, it is like... Oh. Listen to my, my brother. Yeah. No, but seem not to be happy. He's not. He's not. No, but Randy, I've, I mean, I've, I've, told, you, has his I've told you that any amount of taxation have a toll effect one way or the other on all of us. Mm. So it is not a pleasant news anywhere in the world that you are being slapped with taxes. So, you but know, you look at the you circumstances. Know the generic name for what has happened over the past two years. Uh, you are going to describe it. Tax at all. Tax at all. Wow. So for, for me, I think that this will not be forever. Is a is is a, a period we are going through. No, the the but they are not so, so, so your friend Koyo Chubafu has said. Would you? It says tell slide to stop the waffle. And tell us why they've taxed us. Ah, now taxing expectation Uber. He said that's. He said that's taxing expectation not constitute the biggest nuisance ever. Why are you taxing the only refuge from this storm of doom and gloom? He says there's another ugly one with electricity charges called service charges or meters that are increased without notice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that. but yeah. you know there's also now what you call non-lifeline taxes which one is that non-lifeline like if you insure your vehicle yes motor vehicle or no you are going to be taxed yes yeah. so it's now now there. now now that that's the worst part so yeah. you know it was during the christmas yes, that uh, um, a gary do brought it to my attention yes uh -huh. you know that now the third party insurance. Yeah, yeah, you, the, there will be VAT on it. VAT. Uh, uh, comprehensive. It's VAT. a VAT. VAT. Um, um, even those who insure even your building, their homes, their buildings your against building burglary, every, every form of insurance. Yes, subject to VAT. VAT. Yes. That 21.9%. Yes, yes, they're subject. Uh, in that cascading effect again. So, in fact, the DVLA, the people have been notified. The National Insurance Commission has notified. So, third party is going up yeah. by, by that. All insurances from yes. 1st of January. VAT will no, be on it. Serious, Look. This country, no, this country must be rescued. Ah, hey. So let me ask JJ. Hey. Yes. Let me ask you, JJ. You know, likely event mm -hmm. that you win power, mm -hmm. you are going to remove all these taxes. The first thing is to prioritize your expenditure. Ah. And the I have to show because you are beating about no the bush. Way. You tell oh, Ghanaians, they are watching. Oh, are you going to remove shows. all these taxes? Tell us. Hold on. We are closing the show. We'll be tell honest us. with the people of Ghana. There's <laughs> one thing we didn't do <laughs> is to deceive them. Mm. That one I can assure you, President Mama, JJ, would JJ, not do that. JJ, JJ. And the data shows JJ, that. Ask a simple question: Why are you going around our the expenditure? Mm -hmm. And that is please, very important. Please, capital expenditure. Mm -hmm. If you look at the ratio, JJ, we double you in all. JJ, and JJ, when you do that, JJ, JJ, you can then have a situation where JJ, the tax burden will be ask, less. I ask it's you. It's as simple as I that. Ask you a simple question: the what? When in an unlikely event, mm -hmm. which I don't see it anyways, mm -hmm. you get power. Are you going to remove the taxes? 
That is not even a question for anybody to answer. Mm. It's anyway, not a question. Is okay. The question I, I is that is there likely a vendor will win. I rest my case. I will increase my case. the taxes the way you are I, increasing I, them. I, I, and so the answer is the no. one you think is obnoxious. The one the you answer are is no. today. Are you going to remove them? Look, that, that is not even a question. That why is it not a question? It's a question because, of I'm asking you. Because, because you are taking it to the extent that you are causing wickedness. And oh, the thought and the person. You are impugning. I can't say you are impugning. Randy says he's depressed. You so for yes, someone yes, like VAT on for someone like VAT on VAT on Twenty one. Where we are, like are, 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 are asking you, power. Randy, who is depressed? Where we are Everybody is power. watching. Randy is so depressed. No, are you if, saying if, in unlikely if, if you want to power, when if in unlikely if, if you want to in unlikely if you want to put VAT on if you want to put VAT on electricity, why don't you even apply a flat rate? Like a five percent flat rate. Yeah, Randy. Yeah, that's a suggestion. But twenty three percent suggestion. All those will be on the table. That's wickedness. We in will put it in unlikely event. We will review event. all these things when we come. Don't worry. <laughs> Let us come. At you least look life was better. Look into look the camera and tell them the Ghanaians. Tell them yes. your tax look rate. Look into the camera. Let me let me do that. At look into the camera. Your tax rate was yes. better under Mahama than under Kofi. Is that simple not a fact? Question. Mm. The simple, simple question, question is that whether you are going to remove them or not. The tax burden under Mahama. Let me answer you. No, a question. Simple question. So let me answer. Are you going to remove them or not? And let me answer that. Are you going to remove the tax rate under? Let me yes answer. Or no. Come on, answer. If I you don't explain. So let me yes answer. Or no. It will be yes because the tax so incident yes, under Mahama will be less than yours. You That's a fact. Taxes. That is what look, Ghanaians, just yeah. vote. Look at look at Mahama's administration. All these are four years, JJ, and I hope for those administrations. <laughs> what was your tax rate? <laughs> Member of Parliament. If your tax burden <laughs> was better under Mahama, <laughs> vote for President Mahama. I'm if your tax burden is no, better under Akufuado, vote for Akufuado. You've captured it. Can right. so you not teach me how to answer my question? Okay. <laughs> you know I I know I know what my I know what my tax burden was, and I know what it is now. All right. So. Get power. <laughs> they are going to remove